Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on the text box report item. Before getting into this video, let me introduce the text box report item. The text box can be used to display static text for titles, highlighting key information and providing descriptions and labels, or to display dynamic text based on expressions. In this video, we will see how to add the text box report item in RDL reports, assign values to the text box, and how to change the properties of the text box report item. First, let's create a new report. Create a new report and name it text box report. You can see how to create your first report in another video. I have provided a link to it in this video's description for your convenience. Next, let's add the text box report item in the report. Drag and drop the text box report item from the item panel to the designer surface. You can also add the text box report item through the context menu. Right click the design area. And then click insert from the context menu. The list of report items that can be added is displayed in the context menu. You can add the text box report item by selecting it from the list. After adding the text box item, you will see its selected text property displayed. The selected text property is displayed when we focus inside the text area. This property is used to edit only the selected text inside the text box. To see the overall properties of the text box, just click in the design area. And then click the text box. The text box properties are displayed. The text box property is used to edit all of the content added in the text box. The properties of the text box report item are divided into nine categories based on their usage. And the selected text properties are divided into three categories. The name field represents the name of the text box report item. Since we cannot assign any values from the database to the text box report item, the data tab is disabled. You can change the size of the text box report item by extending it at the corners and by dragging the points at the center of each side of the text box report item. For this demo, I type bold reports enterprise reporting in the text box. Then I resize the text box based on my needs. Let's see each of the properties in detail. First, Let's see the properties under the basic settings category. The font family, font size, font color, font style, and font weight properties are used to style the content in the text box. You can apply these font properties to all of the text box content, or to specific parts of it. The font property allows you to change the font family, font color, and font size of the text inside the text box. The font style property allows you to change the style and weight of the font. The available font styles are default, normal, and italic. And the available font weights are default, normal, thin, extra light, light, medium, semi-bold, bold, extra bold, and heavy. For this demo, I set the font family as Sago UI. And the font size to 18. I also change the font style to italic and the font weight to bold. The text decoration property allows you to set the appearance of decorative lines on text. The available options are default, none, underline, line through, and overline. The line through option will add a line that passes through the text. And the overline option adds a line to the top of the text. The format property is used to format an entire text box or specific text, numbers, expressions, or fields within the text box. To open the format dialog, click the icon next to the format property. The format dialog will open. The available formats are number, currency, date, time, percentage, scientific, 
and custom. I have provided a documentation link to a detailed explanation of the formats in the video description, for your convenience. Next, let's see the properties under the alignment category. Text alignment, vertical alignment, padding, line height, and writing mode are the properties available under the alignment category. The text alignment property allows you to align all the text box content or specific content in the text box horizontally. The available text alignment values are default, left, center, and right. The vertical alignment property allows you to align the text box content or specific content in the text box vertically. The available text alignment values are default, top, middle, and bottom. The padding property allows you to change the padding value applied to the text in the text box or selected text. The line height property is used to increase space between the lines of a text box. Increase or decrease the values in the numeric dropdown to set the line height. The writing mode property allows you to rotate the text entered in the text box. The available values are default, horizontal, vertical, and rotate 270. Now, let's see the properties under the appearance category. Using the properties under the appearance category, the user can change the text box background color, border style, border color, and border thickness. There are five border styles that are available, dashed, dotted, double, none, and solid. By default, none is selected. For this demo, I changed the background color to red. And for the visibility of the text, I changed the font color in the basic settings category to white. Let's see the property under the link category. The link to option is used to add a hyperlink and report to the text box. By default the none value is selected. Next, let's see the properties under the position category. The position property is used to change the top and left position values of the text box report item. By changing these, you can change the position of the text box report item. The size property is used to change the width and height values of the text box report item. By changing these, you can change the size of the text box report item. Let's check out the properties under the data element category. A data element can be used to control the visibility of a report item when exporting the report in XML format. The properties available under the data element category are name, output, and style. The name property is used to assign a custom name for the text box element. The text box will be exported with the provided name. The output property value will control the visibility of the text box report item while exporting the report. The auto and output options export the text box and its contents. The no output option does not export the text box report item. The style property can be used to set the export type of the text box report item. The auto and element styles will export the text box as an XML element. The attribute style will export the text box as an XML attribute. Now, let's see the properties under the visibility category. The visible option is used to show or hide the text box report item while viewing the report. By default, it is enabled. The toggle item property is used to expand or collapse the text box report item based on the text box selection. The initial toggle state property is used to set whether the text box is expanded or collapsed while previewing the report. If this property is enabled, the text box will be expanded while previewing the report, otherwise, it will be collapsed. Let's check out the properties under the localization category. The direction property can be used to configure the content rendering direction for the text box report item. You can set either right to left or left to right direction. 
By default, the content in the text box will be rendered in the left to right direction. The language property can be used to set the locale on a text box, which determines the default formats for displaying report data in the text box. We can select the required language in the language property dropdown. Now, let's see the properties under the miscellaneous category. The can grow property will expand the text box height vertically based on its content while previewing the text. The can shrink property will shrink the text box height vertically based on its content while previewing the text. The tooltip property can be used to display informative text or values when the user hovers over the report item in the report preview. The document map property is used to assign the document map value for the text box report item. A document map is a navigational feature that displays a separate side pane with a set of navigational links in the hierarchical structure when you view a report. Bookmark property allows the user to navigate to different parts of the RDL report. The value of bookmark property can be your own strings or an expression. The custom attribute property can be used to set values for custom properties of the text box report items custom properties. I have provided the documentation link for the document map, bookmark, and custom attribute properties in the video description for your convenience. Let's browse the other options available under the selected text property in the text box report item. Under the basic settings you will see the markup type property. This property is used to render the values in the text box as plain text or HTML. The plain text option displays the selected text as simple text and any HTML will be treated as literal text. The HTML option displays the selected text as HTML. If the expression value or values from the dataset field contains valid HTML tags, these tags will be rendered as HTML. Under the paragraph settings option you will see the options to set the text alignment, indent, and space. The text alignment option is used to select the alignment of the selected text. The indent property is used to set the left and right margin for the text. The space property is used to set the top and bottom spacing for the text. Let's see the list of options available in the context menu for the text box report item. To see the context menu, right click inside the text box report item. The context menu will be displayed. As you would expect, the cut, copy, and paste clipboard options are used to cut or copy the text from the text box and paste it elsewhere. The expression option is used to assign expression values inside the text box. I have provided the documentation link for expressions in the video description for your convenience. I click the preview button and we will see the text box report item is rendered in the report. In this video, we have seen how to add the text box report item in the report designer control and how the item is rendered in the report viewer control while previewing it. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.